Well, we are back 744 this morning with In Depth Today and some very hopeful news for the tens of thousands of Americans who are diagnosed every year with rectal cancer. It's one of the most lethal kinds. Well, in a new study, an immunotherapy drug delivered unheard of results. Every single patient involved in this trial seemingly cured. Yeah, that headline just grabbed us. NBC medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar joins us with what we need to know. Dr. Azar, when I saw this headline, I was like, this is a miracle. This is what we've been waiting right. for. There, it's a small group, just right. 12 people, but what does this particular study tell you? I know, Hoda. I'm so happy to be reporting this yeah. this morning. So <clears throat> this was immunotherapy that is used in uh, what's called locally advanced rectal cancer. So that's stage two or stage three. That means it's gone to the lymph nodes, but it hasn't metastasized. And the standard of care for this kind of cancer usually involves chemotherapy, radiation, and then surgery, which, as you can imagine, leaves people with significant disability. Mm -hmm. And only about 25% of those folks will, will have a, a clinical remission. With this immunotherapy, the patients that they study, they want to enroll 30, they've enrolled 16, we have data on 12. All 12 of them experienced a complete clinical remission after six months. It's astonishing. I know, and it's like, you know, you almost want to say that again, because yes, it's a small number, but that's 100%. Yeah. And you know, the, the researchers involved in this trial have said, what makes this so different? Yeah. Because not all immunotherapy is this dramatically successful. Is there something about the gut microbiome? Like, you know, they're sort of speculating as to why. But nonetheless, this is what happened. It's important to note that immunotherapy, of course, does not work for every sure. person with rectal cancer. Only about 5 to 10% of people with rectal cancer have that right mutation that oh. this particular drug targeted. But nonetheless, for the folks who experience this kind of, uh, you know, treatment response, it is mm -hmm. life-changing. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of folks are, are watching and listening and, and wondering, what could this mean yes. for other types of cancer, other right. treatments? And so this is what is so special and unique about immunotherapy, is that it's not specific to an organ. Mm. It's specific to this mutation that wow. multiple different cancers actually have. So it was used in rectal cancer, but it's being studied in a variety of other cancers. I think we have a graphic for our viewers. It can be used in gastrointestinal cancers, mm -hmm. endometrial cancer, breast, prostate, bladder, thyroid. Yeah. And these researchers are also enrolling folks with early pancreatic cancer, which we know, of course, is traditionally very well, challenging to treat. We know you're going to keep your eye on this one, Dr. Azar. One. Good news. Yeah, we're going to have more in the third yeah. hour. Yeah, as thank well. You. So right. we'll talk about thank you, Natalie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.